Hi everyone, Krishna this side. So in this video, I'll be covering this lead code problem 3201. Find the maximum length of valid subsequence one. Okay. So the first thing is like you can go through the problem statement. You can pause the screen and read the problem statement. I'll simply explain you on the screen. And uh, talking about these examples, these are the examples that are being given to us. And uh, these are the constraints. Okay. So yes, uh, once you read the problem statement, you try to attempt it. If not uh, getting this idea, let me explain you guys right over here okay see the problem says that we have given an array let us say that uh, this is the array 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 then it is like 6 6 let us say that like any values could be there right 8 10 10 12 10 13 okay this is something what an array is given to us and our goal is uh, we have to find a subsequence okay such a way that what are the pairs that we are considering okay let us say that we are considering these pairs one two three okay for now so in this particular pair so this is like my subsequence for now we can in a subsequence we can even uh delete any array elements okay here we do not consider even all these array elements right or even in between elements i am not interested to consider five can i can consider it like that okay that is something we call it as a subsequence so we have to consider a subsequence okay in a such a way that whatever the pairs that we have now in this one okay one two is one first pair two three is another pair okay so this way like all the different pairs that we will be having are some pairs when we try to add these pairs so one plus two okay two plus three these values whatever the answer that we get it three here we get here five get when we do the modulo of two with all these values the answer should be equal okay the answer should be equal so modulo of uh, 2 with 3 is basically 1 5 modulo 2 is basically 1 so yes this is equal right so this way we have to consider different values so after 3 like we can consider now 4 okay 3 4 pair is basically 7 7 modulo 2 is basically equals to 1 so yes this is valid one then after this like we can consider 5 as well so uh, with 4 and 5 some 9 is something what we get 9 modulo 2 again this is like 1 correct so this is also valid 6 also we can consider then next pair is like 5 6 correct so yes this uh, this is also 11 divided by modulo 2 is basically 1 that way we have different different pairs now if i try to consider after 6 uh, if i try to consider 8 6 plus 8 basically gives us 14 okay so 14 modulo 2 if we do 0 is something what we get so far we got one as answer equal answer can we consider this pair particular pair which is giving zero as an answer no right so yes we have to make sure that we are just considering valid pairs so after six i cannot consider eight 13 is valid one after six so all these values are invalid so because uh, when we add this uh, values with this particular last element that uh, we have considered in a subsequence it is obviously giving us even sum and when we mod with this two obviously the answer is going to be zero okay so yes 13 is another pair so this way like we got one a subsequence with all these different pairs that we try to consider when we try to do modulo with two the answer is basically equals to one okay so its length is what is this length its length is like the three plus uh, six seven seven is the length that we got it so this way seven is the answer that we got it considering this subsequence okay next is like now we have different options right so it is clear that now uh, considering these different different pairs if there is a pair like uh, first uh, value is even then next value should be odd correct then only we get one as an answer right so here if we notice first is odd second is even third is odd fourth is even correct so it is like even odd even odd pair is something what we are considering or there could be another possibility okay which starts with odd number then even number starts with on then next is odd even so this is also another valid answer okay so this could be another valid answer since current one is like it is same but uh, there could be a pair like even odd even odd this is also valid one because when we add these values correspondingly uh, addition values we are definitely going to get answer as one each time correct so this is one pair uh, formation of subsequence pair this is another formation of subse subsequence pair there could be another one which is like all are odd odd right when we add this all odd values hertz and pairs definitely the answer is even even modulo 2 is basically zero so all these different pairs 
we get as a zero as an answer okay so this is also another validity pairs correct next one is like even even all values are even okay i think this statement itself is clear now so we have to pick different pairs okay first is like even or even or pairs is something what we have to consider okay that way we may get the best answer okay that sub whatever the subsequence we considered even or even or subsequence that could give us a best answer the other is like odd even odd even pair that could be the best answer next one is like all numbers are odd okay that uh, that is also a possible answer right because uh, that is uh, all these odd odd pairs uh, when we try to get the odds and values of modulo 2 the answer is basically zero so yes that is also valid one last one is even 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 these pairs also gives a mod uh, best answers okay so yes considering this fact what we can do is basically we will just simply traverse through this array okay while traversing we will make three different counts the first count is even numbers count okay even numbers count so how many even numbers that we have so far uh, whatever this uh, from this array that is something what we will keep track of next one is the next one is like odd even numbers count so whatever the odd numbers that we have so far from this particular array that is something what we will consider the count okay after considering these two counts we have to consider these different counts that is like even odd pairs count or else odd even pairs count okay so for this particular one see whichever the first number that we get it okay whichever the first number that we get it either it could be odd or even okay so that is the pairs count which uh, whatever the pairs count that we get it uh, this uh, based on this odd or even number that is the subsequence whatever the subsequence we consider that is going to be the longest subsequence we can get it okay so based on the first number whichever if it is odd number or even number if it is an even number this particular sequence may give us the best answer if it is the odd number this subsequence will give us the best answer okay why i am saying see when we try to consider odd even pairs so first number is odd second number is even third number is odd four five six okay then 30 okay this is one pair that we got it which is having odd even pairs odd even odd even pairs next is like let us suppose i want to create even odd pairs so uh, here i am just simply omitting this one okay now odd number the first even number that i got is two after two three is there after three four five six then it is like 13 okay so if we compare both this whichever the first number that we have that is something what we are missing right over here otherwise all the numbers are same all the numbers are same right so yes we have to just consider that whatever the first number that we have from there we will keep on counting it okay so either if it is an odd number or even number based on that next number what should be the next number that is something what we have to consider if it is an odd number right here it is an odd number so next number that i am considering from this particular array should be even number once i got even number like immediately i got even number next number should be odd number based on that we will keep on counting it so third is like considering this both the numbers both counts right so first whatever the first number that we got it based on that next number should be either even or odd okay so that way this is another count so three counts we will keep on maintaining it and based on these three counts whichever is the maximum answer that we got it out of these three that is the answer so based on this uh, odd even numbers if we consider both the both the counts here we got it like this is the subsequence that we got it so its count is like uh, seven both the counts odd numbers are like this one this one one two three four five and then six okay odd numbers count is six now if we try to check the even numbers count this is one two three four five six seven this is also seven so out of this seven is the maximum answer best answer that we got it okay it's pretty much simple and straightforward so let us try to write down the code as well now I guess you get the idea now you can write down the code as well the first thing that we will do is we will maintain three different counts even count okay initially it is zero or count this is also zero and the last one is like both counts this is also so this will based on what is the first number okay so this is uh, currently one whatever the number that we have initially that based on that okay let us try to keep it as zero as well so we have to make sure what is the parity the either the first number is even or odd 
so let us try to get this parity so parity is like we will just divide this nums of 0 modulo 2 whatever this value that we get it there is the parity so it is either 1 is something what we get it or 0 is something what we get it so based on this parity we will keep on flipping this parity either next number what is the next number that is something what we have to consider right so based on this parity we will keep on flipping this okay so for end num so whatever the num that we have from this nums currently okay we will check if uh, num num modulo 2 if it is equals to 0 okay so it is e1 so even count we will increase else okay else or count is something what we have to increase correct now this parity based on this parity so we will check that if parity if parity equals to this whatever this num modulo 2 okay num modulo 2 if it is the case if the parity is basically equals to this num modulo 2 in that case we will increment this both counts okay we can name it uh, differently but yes now i am just naming it like this both the counts something what i have increased and now we have to flip this parity so we can flip it by just simply subtracting or adding what i'll use is i'll use is the xor operation so that if the number is zero it will shift to one if number is one it will shift to zero that way we will get the parity we are simply flipping this parity so now next parity should be now if this parity is basically equals to this whatever this num modulo 2 because initially whatever the num of 0 modulo 2 uh, whatever the number that we have either it is even or what that is something what we have uh, defined this parity so now this parity should be equals to whatever this num modulo 2 so that way like first count is something what we got it so next number that should be what based on this parity so if it is an even number the parity was 0 now parity is something what we have flipped so whatever the next number that we are considering that number should be odd okay that number should be odd that way this parity if the parity is basically equals to num modulo 2 that means that number is basically odd so again we increase the count okay and the parity is something what we have flipped okay this way we can easily write down the code now at the end we have just we have to just make sure that whichever the maximum that is something what we are returning it the first is like uh, even count next one is like again based on these two numbers that we have odd count and both counts whichever is the maximum that is something what we have to return let us try to run this code and if you notice here the time complexity is here big o of one uh big o of n sorry or count plus plus okay so yes that way we can write down this code as uh, we are not considering any space so yes this way we can easily write this particular code okay i hope you get the idea how we are doing it and uh, if so please make sure to like this video thank you for watching this one bye, -bye.